<laughs> we go from one controversial choice to another. Hello everybody, my name is Sniping is Fun, and I welcome you all back to the next character, the next newcomer idea in this long-running series of various newcomer ideas for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Super Smash Bros. series. Last time on character 132, I left you with a very controversial choice, and I could tell it was semi-controversial, or someone didn't like it because I got a dislike on it. Although someone did comment and said it was a cool idea, and then I got two likes, so I guess I balanced out it quite a bit overall, but people did not like me talking about an idea, I guess an idea about talking about a Fortnite character. I dubbed the Fortniter as a character idea for Super Smash Brothers, but that was character 132. Character 133 now is jumping from Fortnite to Minecraft with Minecraft Steve, another franchise that I've seen numerous people, another game character inclusion that people get so controversial on you recommending, they don't want to see it, they don't want it in Smash Brothers, blah, blah, blah. I have to talk about it. Just like Fortnite, it, is, it has potential. It, quite frankly, has more potential than Fortnite to get a character as not only in the DLC in Smash Brothers Ultimate in this Fire Pass, but pretty much a chance in the future Smash Brothers game, if not here, as a major third party for them still to add. So I have to because I think I see it, I see it as a cool potential character to add, even though I'm not personally wanting Minecraft or Minecraft Steve in it. A potential character I could see in, and a cool character concept to get in, and a potential chance to put some sort of percentage on their inclusion in Smash Brothers. Rumor or otherwise, that random leak or otherwise saying he was part of the Fire Pass regardless, I was going to put him on this list regardless. I wanted to talk about a Minecraft character, Minecraft Steve, for quite some time. I'm finally doing it on the road to 150 with 133 Minecraft Steve. And here we are. And before I get started on making this intro too long, just like always, three separate categories. Reasons for why the character makes sense, moves ideas, and percentage chance I can see him included in Fighter Pass as DLC. Um, why does Minecraft make sense? Why is Minecraft Steve? Well, first and foremost, Minecraft Steve is like the main character, the default main character from Minecraft. So if there was an inclusion for a character in you know, Minecraft to ever get into Smash Brothers, it would have to be Minecraft Steve. Now, just like the Fortnite character, the Fortniter, you have different skins in that game, so you can throw in the default skins and various cool, like, de like you know, skins that various other inclusions they put in the game, like the demon-looking guy, the snow guy, the crazy lightning-based, like, fox, tre red trench toe guy, whoever you can put those characters in. So you can, just like in, in, in Minecraft, you can create your own little skin. You can put, you can create, customize the blocks and make your own skin, so they could probably include other skins for, you know, the Minecraft, for Minecraft Steve, just like I talked about for Fortnite, or just like you get with the likes of Inkling or the Villager, different looking skins to represent different designs the characters could have, but Minecraft Steve will be the default. He is the main character, he's been pretty much that way since the beginning of the series, they have to go with him for that. But Minecraft in general being represented, just like I mentioned with Fortnite, Minecraft is a phenomenon for a longer time than Fortnite, but still a phenomenon. Since this game was included back on PCs, it became a massive hit. A lot of younger kids play it, a lot of older people play it, people on YouTube play it, people on Twitch play it. It's just massively popular. There's toys, there's merchandise, there's shirts, there's a ton of crap. It is very much a phenomenon, and Smash Brothers tends to include stuff that can be gaming phenomenons, Nintendo or otherwise. So that really much puts it in the running, and it has made appearances on Nintendo. It was on the 3DS, I believe, the Wii U, the Switch now, numerous appearances over the years. It wasn't just like on the PlayStation and the Xbox and on PC. It made numerous appearances on Nintendo. The main games, side games, whatever games, you know, games of Minecraft have appeared on Nintendo. And even then, the company that makes Minecraft has worked with Nintendo and put in skins for like Mario and Yoshi and various other characters from it. There seems to be a close working relationship between them. So... Quite frankly, Minecraft is a major third party to add, whether you're looking at old school third parties still left to add, or new school third parties. No matter what, if you're looking at legendary old school classic third parties, or newer third parties, or mix and match that have history with Nintendo, or otherwise are just major you know, phenomenons and majorly popular in the gaming industry, Minecraft is on that list. So, you know, and whether you like to admit it or not, they do stand a chance, the franchise does stand a chance to get in the Smash Brothers. Not the top choice, but a pretty good choice. That's all you can say. Move set ideas. Now, <coughs> I've only played a little bit of you know Minecraft. I've played more of it than Fortnite. I mentioned in the last video I didn't play a lot of Fortnite. I've only played it with my cousin. Only recently downloaded it on my PS4 so I could play it with him. 
So there you go. But um, I have played quite a bit of Minecraft since it came out because while he's obsessed with Fortnite, he is really also obsessed and has been for a long time with Minecraft. And on his Xbox One, I've played Minecraft with him. On his tablet, I've played Minecraft with him. Over the years, I've actually kind of put more time and know a little bit more about Minecraft than I knew about Fortnite. Even so, I started to do a little bit of research for like what I would kind of want to come up with a moveset because you have to balance out the items with like the customizing building block type feature, which should still sort of be featured in his moveset, but kind of not totally because that part make him op so what i came up with for the smash attacks it would basically be like i mentioned three different weapons you could switch between three different weapons like i mentioned with the byleth character from fire Emblem three houses or miriam from bloodstained like and i mentioned at least one or two other characters where they have at least different weapons to pick from or whatever so it's gonna be like a down b switches out the weapon there will be the pickaxe the shovel and the sword you gotta have at least if you want only have one weapon because people are sick of swords apparently i'm, I'm, I'm I still seeing sword haters you drop the sword all you want you even try the pickaxe make them just like a shovel or just a pickaxe one of those two just if you want to but i think it'd be kind of cool given that in the world of minecraft you can use these different objects to do different things it would be kind of cool to give him the pickaxe the shovel and the sword the pickaxe would be the quicker weapon to choose but the attacks will be a little bit weaker the shovel will be the more power based weapon but it'll be slower to swing just to balance it out even though the sword swings like in freaking Minecraft anyways, but just to balance it out, make the sword a little bit slower, but this, I mean, not the sword, the shovel a little bit slower, but it's more powerful given that the shovel is kind of heavy. And then the sword will be average, average speed, average damage. And that will be a smash attacks. The special attacks are where you start throwing in all the other little gear, all the other little, you know, items you can use in the game. You can use a bow, so he'll have range attacks and be able to shoot the bow from a distance. <clears throat> you'll be able to use the fishing rod. Maybe you can attack opponents with it. That can also be a grapple where you can grab you can grab him in and use the line and fish him back in. You can pull him closer so you start beating him up. I would say you could also use the shears so you can clip the shears and attack the opponents. Um, there's a trident, so I'd say if it's not like an actual attack that you just stick forward, it's probably like a javelin type thing where you can probably throw it. You don't actually throw them in the games, but to make it different from having like a shovel, a sword, and all that stuff, maybe throw in the trident. The flint and the steel, so basically you can just like ignite fire and you can set opponents on fire, which probably can burn them. So it's like a Pokemon thing where you burn Pokemon and over time they receive damage. If you burn them correctly, maybe they will receive damage for a few seconds, like continuously 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%. And then a bucket for water and lava. You could drop water, maybe it could trip opponents, or you could drop lava and it hurts them and they get caught on fire and they can probably get burnt from that too. So it's like a status effect type of thing. But, um... Yeah, I wanted to balance out, like, the weapons that, the, the items used in Minecraft, and make sure if Minecraft got into Smash Bros, you represent multiple different ones, and it's not just the building features, which I didn't really play in the actual moveset, I'm going to tell you about that when I get to the final Smash, um, but, but, like, I wanted to balance it out between the different items you could use in the game, different build mechanics, different things represented in, in the Minecraft series, I'd like to throw on to Minecraft Steve, or a Minecraft character in general, so their moveset's a little bit more varied than just creating blocks, throwing blocks. Here's a sword, here's a you know, pick, uh, pickaxe or whatever. There you go. Um, but yes, the smash attacks are the shovel, the sword, and the pickaxe. You switch between with down B, so that would be taken away from your specials. And then, like I said, the shovel is the heavier weapon but more powerful. The quicker weapon but less damage. The pickaxe, the sword is average. Then you get to the special items, you can shoot with a bow ranged weapon, probably the trident can be thrown in as a ranged weapon, flint steel can be used to light fires, probably you can burn the stage too, so you can probably burn grass or something, it sets the stage on fire for a short period of time. Fishing rod to grab opponents, the shears to clip opponents, and the bucket to drop water down trip opponents or allow it down and burn. The final smash, in my opinion, should be where the creative mode takes place, and if they give you control over it, that'd be kind of cool, but I don't have specifically, like... In my, I, I was just thinking about this, like the creative mode, maybe you can create stuff and make bombs and explodes and stuff, and you actually have control of the creative mode and build stuff on stage for like 10 seconds, maybe while everyone's stuck around frozen or something. That'd be kind of OP and cheap. But the creative mode, if it's put in the moveset, should probably be relegated to Final Smash, so it's not super OP. But my mode, what I did for my video here, and what I'm putting right down here is, it's creative mode, so Steve will open up the creative mode, he'll build a giant TNT tower in the middle of the stage, kaboom, 
and everyone gets blown off the stage. Simple to the point, it represents creative mode, but doesn't give control to the players, because that can be a little OP, but if they make the Final Smash or some sort of move where you create, and you can actually create and build stuff, that'd be kind of cool if they can make an original moveset around that even more. So yeah, that's what I'd say for the Final Smash. Now let's get on to the percentage chance I can see him actually getting in. Now, regardless of the rumor or not that came out like a month or so ago when it was like, oh, the DLC after Joker is going to be uh, Erdrick and Minecraft Steve and uh, Ryu Hayabusa and uh, Doom Slayer. Whether or not that's true, I have no idea. I'm not even, I didn't even put him on that. Like, going up, like just throwing it out the window. Minecraft getting in. Minecraft Steve getting in. Minecraft getting in a third party spot in this DLC or any spot in this DLC, for that matter. Um, is good, not the best, but it's pretty damn good given Minecraft is still freaking popular right now and the company has a good relationship working with Nintendo. I'm going to say 65% chance it's not the best. There are other third parties that probably make a little bit more sense or higher up, like a Dragon Quest or probably something else from Capcom or Namco or whatever, given that Namco helped make the game and everything. But, um, if they want to go for like an indie third part, third party type character, I think... At this point, Minecraft Steve is the major choice because they've already pretty much threw out Shovel Knight as an assist trophy. Shantae probably missed her chance. Gunvolt probably never had a chance. They probably won't do the Fortniter. Um, and I don't know about Sans from uh, <coughs> Undertale. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say 65% chance. Not the highest, most likely third party, but definitely not the lowest. It's, it's a really good shot given it's the connection and business relationship between the company that makes Minecraft. And Nintendo and its history on Nintendo. So I'd say, yeah, definitely about a 65% chance we see Minecraft slash Minecraft Steve in Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighter Pass. Don't know. But that's it for character uh, 133. Put in the comments section what you guys think. Do you guys like this moveset? Do you think create or do you guys think maybe creative mode should be more impact on the moveset rather than just the final smash? Do you like the idea of doing like a three weapons in one pickaxe, shovel, and sword? Um, like, my reasons for why they deserve to make sense to get in, make sense, I guess. Or do you have other reasons? What moves would you do in the 65% chance? Too high or too low or whatever. Um, put in this discussion down there. We have fun. Fun 33 is done. And when I return for character number 134, I'm diving back into the world of Fire Emblem. Huh? Ah, huh? I haven't talked about enough that, much, that that series enough in this series, have I? Huh? I talked about like six characters, huh? I'm showing bias, huh? Yeah, I have. I talked about three houses. I talked about um, echoes. I have talked about some side characters in echoes. Um, there's one thing I'm surprisingly I haven't talked about in terms of the world of Fire Emblem, and that is Fire Emblem Heroes. And one character I want to talk about because of how cool she really is is um, from the latest book, the latest season in Fire Emblem Heroes, and that's. The main villain, Hell. See y'all later. Bye.